everyone. So this segment is going to be called Coffee Talk. I'm going to do two segments a week. So I'm going to do the look of the week. You saw that one already. And this one's going to be on Tuesdays that I upload. And it's just something that somebody asks me or advice on things. I've been getting, like my whole inbox is full of people asking me for advice. And... I love helping people, so of course you'll probably get a, a response from me, a pretty long one, because I really love helping people. I think, uh, not saying that I, ha I give the best advice, but I try to give the best advice that I could give, and I really do think a lot into what I tell people, so hopefully I do help you. One of the topics that I got... Uh, was how to be a good friend and you all know that Andrea is my best friend but she's not my only best friend I have literally seven best friends and these are my girlfriends that seven or eight best friends oh, wait let me add them <laughs> so um, I have eight best friends actually and they aren't people that I see every day they are people that I met throughout my life that has stuck with me and that has really either changed my life in a positive way or just helped me uh, or just motivated me to become uh, what I am and who I am today. How to be uh, a good friend. There's a couple things that you have to do um, to be a good friend and to have good friends you have to be a good friend, right? So. I think uh, that what the reason why me and my girlfriends are so close is, for one, we don't talk about each other behind each other's back. Like, that's something I do not do at all about my girlfriends. I don't like doing it. Even if one does talk about the other one, I don't, I really don't put my two cents in. I have like a sense of loyalty to my girlfriends and, and every one of my girlfriends is unique and every one of them, um, has either helped me in some way or I've helped them or we've created a lot of really really great memories and you have to to be a good friend you have to be loyal you cannot jump on the bandwagon when somebody's talking crap about your friend and the other person is too you should definitely stick up for them but I just don't think it's right these people are your friends for your re for a reason I definitely suggest that if you do hear somebody talking crap about your friends or anything that way um, do not join in it's not it's not classy, I guess. It's not the right thing to do because then why is that person really your friend? Seriously. So when you do hear, when you do hear, you know, your friends talking crap about somebody else, especially that's close to them or close to you, don't think that they're not going to say anything about you. Almost. You almost get that sense. Like, okay, so you can talk crap about them behind their back. So obviously when I'm not around, you're going to talk about me. That's exactly how you should see it. And that's why I've lost a lot of friends in my life because I don't agree with the things that they do. Um, another thing I think uh, how you should be a good friend is do not judge your friends. You need to accept your friends for who they are and the decisions that they, they make in their lives. Everybody's different. I think that if you try to uh, intervene in any kind of personal matter with your friends, if it's if it's harming them for sure, but if it's something that they really are passionate about or doing, you should never intervene because it's not going to end the way you want it to. Another thing would be never compete with your friends. I know that there's a lot of girls out there that are always competitive with their friends and that's why you can't be as close. I don't really believe in the saying, um, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I really don't believe in that saying. Why would you want somebody that close to you, like, that has ill feelings towards you? That just doesn't make any sense. Um, I, I think the thing about me and all my girlfriends, we never compete with each other. We motivate each other. And that's why me and my girlfriends are all still very close, is that we motivate each other, for sure. You have to surround yourself with positive people. You have to surround yourself with people that are doing great things in their lives. And all each each one of my girlfriends are either you know starting their own business, um, they're creative, they're freelance, they do what they actually love doing, and I think that's so remarkable and a great quality to keep around. And even having a daughter, I would I would gladly have those people around. They're a great role model. Another thing about being a friend is 
you need to create special moments with your girlfriends. Uh, we do, we always meet up in cities, different cities. We have fun. We meet up for birthdays. Uh, we meet up for any real special event, you know, bir like my daughter's birthdays, uh, baby showers, things. You have to create really fun memories with your girlfriends because, and take tons and tons of pictures. I think we probably have thousands and thousands of pictures of with all my girlfriends throughout the years. I've always included them in everything that really means something to me. So like, you know, Olivia's birth and Olivia's baby shower. I mean, all my girlfriends were there. I, I, I want them to be there because these are the things that keep us really close together. Um, another thing that I do with my girlfriends is I always include them in my family functions. I have three brothers and a sister, and I have nine nieces and nephews. So I have a huge, huge family, and we always have parties. So I always invite my girlfriends because, one, my family is really good at detecting who is a good person, who isn't a good person. Um, I brought over a few of my girlfriends during throughout the years, and they've either been like, ooh, I don't know, I don't really like her, or, you know, I really love her. Um, and usually the ones, and they're so right every time, every time, the you know, the girl that I had brought over and they didn't really like, she ended up being really mean to me, jealous. She would be like say really horrible things about me to my other friends and then I just literally stopped talking to her I cut her off we are not friends anymore and so my family was right I bring my girlfriends around my family because those people too mean a lot to me and I really and they all create a really good bond so my girlfriends can come over anytime they feel at home and it makes me feel closer to them almost as if they're my sisters I have a sister and I'm super close with her but now I feel like I have eight other sisters too, so nine sisters total and three brothers, that's, that's amazing. So treat your friends the way you want to be treated. If you're going to treat your friends badly, you have to almost expect to not be those girls' friends anymore because if they have any strength as a woman, they would be like, Psh. anyway, exactly. And you, you want to treat your girlfriends good. They're, they're pretty much your family. You have to. You have to treat them good. It's almost like they're not. There's no reason for them to stay and be your friend and be loyal if you're gonna treat them like crap. Jealousy and fighting with your girlfriends should not happen. Um, fighting, yeah, disagreements for sure. But there's always forgiveness after, and that's the that is the hardest thing to do because forgiveness does not come easy. If your girlfriends are worth you know having around and you love them you should always forgive and it's just it's just the right thing to do and it makes you feel really good inside and forget to forgive and forget I think that's the best thing to do your girlfriends are your sister they're your family they're your sisters they they will do the same for you when you do make a mistake and I think that's really important Livy's crying so I'm gonna go bring her here all right Livy just woke up for her from her nap so you gotta say hi. Say hi to all our friends, Libby. Say hi. Look, say hi right there. Say hi, friends. So to kind of sum up everything, I just think that um, you have to be, you know, pick and choose who you really let in and really and who you really want to spend special moments with. And they should be a positive influence on you, never negative, and they should never put you in any awkward or weird situations, and they should be very understanding and forgiving. And I think that's very important. Also, trust. You shouldn't be hanging out with somebody that you don't trust your life with. Like, you just, you shouldn't. And I think that's really important. Uh, people need to, you know, really evaluate who they have around themselves and who they surround themselves with because it's like the saying, you are who you hang out with, and that is very true. It is very true. Um, so surround yourself with beautiful, lovely people that motivate you and, and are happy for you in any venture that you choose, and I think that's... I think that's the most important thing that and most important thing you could do for yourself. Anyway, Livy, say bye bye to all our girlfriends out there. Say bye, girlfriends. See you next time. <laughs> say we love you. Um. Mwah. <laughs>